You, you got Obama phone? Yes, everybody in Cleveland, low minority, got Obama phone. Keep Obama in president, you know? He what? gave us a phone. He gave you he a phone? Do more. How do he give you a phone? You, you shine up. If you're, you're on full steps, you on Social Security, you got low income, you disability. I have a question. Okay, what's wrong with Romney again? Romney, he sucks. He has. So that tells me something immediately about Michelle Obama. Um, that she is willing to play that role. And I think that she's as much a fake, personally, as Barack Obama. And Barack Obama is one of the major, major fakes. And interestingly, and this has surprised me a little bit, the number of people, former Obama supporters, who are seeing, if you like, the error of their ways, um, is happening much quicker than I thought it would. Because he is turning back so many of the things that he said he would um, he would not do, he's doing the opposite. And uh, it's the usual thing in politics. Tell them what they want to hear, get into power, do what you always intended to do. And there's no better example than Barack Obama. M Mr. Mr. Fake President, if ever there was one. I never thought this day would ever happen. I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me. Stop complaining. Stop grumbling. Stop crying. I'll make our government open and transparent so that anyone can ensure that our business is the people's business. Now, Justice Louis Brandeis once said, sunlight is the greatest disinfectant. And as president, I'm going to make it impossible for congressmen or lobbyists to slip pork barrel projects or corporate welfare into laws when no one's looking, because when I'm president, meetings where laws are written will be more open to the public, no more secrecy. That's a commitment I make to you as president. No more secrecy. And when there's a bill that ends up on my desk as president, you, the public, will have five days to look online and find out what's in it before I sign it. So that you know what your government's doing. When there are meetings between lobbyists and a government agency, we'll put as many, as po many of those meetings as possible online for every American to watch. When there's a tax bill being debated in Congress, you will know the names of the corporations that would benefit and how much money they would get. And we will put every corporate tax break and every pork barrel project online for every American to see. You will know who asked for them, and you can decide whether your representative is actually representing you. There's a difference between Democrat and Republican. Oh, God, it's the way you tell them, honestly. God, oh, gee, you want to take up stand-up. Um, well, we have um, two masks in Britain called Labour and Conservative. We have two masks in America called Republican and Democrat. And all four masks um, are placed on the same face. Um, uh, in in a, a, a book uh, called The David Icke Guide to the Global Conspiracy, I follow a uh, chain of events right back from the 1940s and show without any question that uh, the Labour and Conservative parties in Britain are fundamentally connected. The idea is to give the illusion of choice while having no choice whatsoever. This is how the political system works. Whichever party is in government introduces the agenda because they have the ability to introduce legislation. The party in opposition opposes the agenda, but it doesn't matter because it's got no power to do anything. We then have a farce called an election. And every now and again, the two parties change sides. Now, the party that was in opposition and imposed the agenda 
uh, or oppose the agenda, now imposes it. And people say, hold on a minute, you said this in opposition and now you're doing the opposite. Yes, because it has the power to impose the agenda. The party that was imposing the agenda before and is now the opposition, it opposes the agenda now. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. I have determined that it is in our vital national interest to send an additional 30,000 U.S. troops to Afghanistan. I do not make this decision lightly. This first executive order that we are signing uh, by the authority vested in me as president, the, uh, president by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America in order to affect the appropriate disposition of individuals currently detained by the Department of Defense at Guantanamo uh, and promptly to close the detention facility at Guantanamo consistent with the national security and foreign policy interests of the United States and the interests of justice I hereby order. And we then provide uh, the process whereby Guantanamo will be closed uh, no later than one year from now. We will be... Uh, is there a separate um, executive order, Greg, with respect to how we're going to dispose of the detainees? Is that it? Uh, written? We, a process. we will be setting up a process uh, whereby this is going to be taking place. We have a responsibility to act. That's what's happened in Libya over the course of these last six weeks. Uh, because, you know, it is just wonderful to be back in Oregon, and over the last 15 months we've traveled uh, to every corner of the United States. Uh, I've now been in 57 states, I think one left to go. Uh, one left to go, uh, Alaska and Hawaii I was not allowed to go to, even though I really wanted to visit, but my staff would not go uh, Can't get away though every single day Try to remember watching 9-11 on the DVG As towers crumbling one by one That really was our liberty undone Things started the darkest days And the false desire came our way Now we can't look away or run away But we try every single day We cannot shake this motherfucking false messiah It comes today like hot fire Thrown up in your face And the dollar bill replaced the Masonic seal with the devil's face Yes, everybody in Cleveland, low minority, got Obama phone. Keep Obama in president, you know. He what? gave us a phone. He gave you he a phone. Do more. How do he give you a phone? You, you sign up. If you're you on food stamps, you on Social Security. You got low income. You disability. Hey, I'm you know. Okay, what's wrong with Romney again? Romney, he sucks. Hey.